Hello viewers, uh, welcome to my channel and uh, today's topic is uh, pelvic MRI uh, but before starting this topic I would like to request you to like, subscribe and share these videos to support this channel and if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition uh, in that case you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com you know and now I come to the topic what is pelvic MRI scan you know you know the MRI scan uses the uh, like uh, magnets and the radio waves uh, to capture the images inside your body uh, without making a surgical incision you know so the scan uh, allows your doctor to see the most uh, the soft tissues you know uh, such as muscles and organs you know uh, without uh, your bones obstructing the views you know so the pelvic MRI scan signif uh, like specially uh, helps your doctor to see the bones and the organs the blood vessels and uh, other tissues in your pelvic region you know and uh, pelvic region is the area between uh, your hips that holds your like uh, or reproductive organs such as uh, uh, uterus or the ovaries or the fallopian tubes and the cervix you know and uh, the many important muscles as well you know so this helps your doctor to inspect the potential problems uh, found in other imaging tests such as x-rays you know so uh, they also use the pelvic MRI scan to diagnose the unexplained hip pain uh, investigate the spread of certain cancers or better understand the conditions uh, causing your symptoms you know so this way this is a very important uh, test you know now you know the MRI test they, it, there are no radiations used in this test you know so this way it's safe test you know uh, uh, the next thing is uh, what's the purpose of this test you know well you know the pelvic area holds your uh, reproductive organs uh, so your doctor may order the test for the different reasons depending on if you are male or if you are female you know so the pelvic MRI scan is useful to test uh, for both sexes males and females you know and if you have like uh, birth defects or injury or trauma to the pelvic area or maybe abnormal X results or maybe pain in the lower abdominal or pelvic region unexplained difficulties while urinating or maybe uh, uh, deficiting you know cancer or maybe suspected cancer you know in your reproductive organs like bladder or maybe the rectum or maybe the urinary tract you know and uh, in case of the woman your doctor may advise the pelvic MRI test to further investigate the like infertility uh, irregular vaginal bleeding uh, like lumps or masses in the pelvic area like uh, uh, uterine fibroids you know and uh, unexplained pain in your lower belly or the pelvic area and uh, in case of men you know your doctor may advise if uh, like uh, to investigate the undescended testicles you know lumps in the scrotum or the testicles or maybe swelling in the area you know so uh, that's why your doctor will advise you the CT scan of, sorry MRI of the pelvis you know well uh, your doctor will fully explain why uh, he wants to order this test you know and uh, uh, what he will be looking for before uh, you have this procedure you know so your doc doctor will explain you each and everything all aspects of this test you know. uh, well there are few risks of the MRI uh, because that uh, 
but there are risks for those who have uh, implants containing the metals you know and uh, the magnets used in the MRI scan can cause the problems with the pacemakers or cause the implanted screws or the pins to shift in the body you know so to be sure to tell your doctor if you have any of these implants like uh, artificial joints or maybe artificial heart valves or the metal plot uh, like plates and the screws uh, for any orthopedic surgeries you know or pacemakers or metal clips for the aneurysm surgery you know and uh, bullets or other metal uh, like uh, fragments in the body you know so you should uh, tell your doctor in advance if you have any of these implants or the metals in the body and the other complications that can cause uh, that can arise you know uh, is an allergic reaction to the contrast dye you know and the most common type of the contrast dye is like uh, uh, gadolinium you know and uh, the rare uh, you know uh, these allergic reactions are often mild and they are easily controlled by the medication so uh, mostly they are not life threatening and the women are advised not to breastfeed their children for 24 to 48 hours, eight hours after this test you know after um, that dye, dye has been injected to the body you know and if you are like a, a claustrophobic or have a hard time in uh, like enclosed spaces you may feel uncomfortable while the MRI machine in the MRI machine you know and uh, there's nothing to fear your doctor may prescribe the anxiety medication to help you um, uh, to remain comfortable you know and in some cases your doctor may also sedate you uh, if you are not comfortable uh, before the test uh, uh, tell your doctor if you have any pacemakers or any metals in your body you know and uh, depending on your type of the pacemaker your doctor may suggest an other method of inspecting uh, your pelvic area such as CT scan etc you know and uh, the pacemaker models can be uh, reprogrammed before the MRI so they don't experience uh, like disruption during the examination you know. now the MRI tests uh, it uses the magnets uh, it can uh, attract the metals so alert your doctor if you have any metals in your body so some uh, uh, MRI examinations are uh, in fact some dyes are used in this test you know and uh, uh, you may have any reaction to these dyes but mostly they are not serious and they can be controlled with the medication easily you know and uh, The next thing is about uh, the procedure, you know. So, how do doctors perform this procedure? Well, if your test requires dye, uh, your doctor will inject it into your bloodstream through the IV line, you know. And you may need to wait for dye to circulate through the blood before beginning the test, you know. And uh, the MRI machine looks like large metal and plastic, like a donut, you know with the, a bench that slowly glides uh, you into the center of the opening you know and uh, as long as you uh, followed your doctor's instructions and uh, removed all the metals you know you will be completely safe uh, in and around the machine so there will be no uh, problem you know uh, so you will receive a pillow and blanket to make you comfortable as you're in the machine you know and the machine may make some loud noises uh, to take the images so these are the part of uh, this procedure so there's nothing to worry about uh, when the machine takes uh, the pictures the technician will ask you to hold your breath for a few seconds you know it will happen multiple times so you won't feel anything during the tests and your magnets and uh, the radio frequencies uh, can, cannot be felt you know so it's safe you know it will take about 30 to 60 minutes you know so uh, after the exam or the test you know uh, you are free to leave the hospital without any complication and uh, and then you will uh, the result those tests will be viewed by the radiologist in detail and uh, you will send the report to your doctor uh, in a few weeks time. 
Thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease, any medical condition, you can visit my website, which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com. Thank you and goodbye.